Hello, uh, this Excel video tip is going to be all about the offset match combination. Uh, the final version of the trilogy of offset and match, if you will. And it's going to tie these two functions together into something that uh, one of my favorite methods and, and functions within Excel. Um, a lot of people will refer to this as a reverse VLOOKUP. Um, and we'll explain that here in just a minute. Um, with VLOOKUP, if, if you've not watched that tutorial, I would recommend that you do that. Uh, but with VLOOKUP, if I wanted to look for an item number like 675, I could go find it and return anything to the right of the column that I'm looking for. But what happens if your data feed comes in and the data that you're looking for is to the left of how you're looking for it? For example, in, in our mocked up data here, you'll see that I've got item description in the first column, item number in the second column, and sales in the third column. So if I want to be able to type in an item number and return the color in the sales, how it's set up right now, I can't use VLOOKUP to do that, short of cutting this out and copying it over here and, and having to move the data around as it comes in, which is fine for a, for a one-off, but if I've got a set data feed that I'm I'm pulling from on a regular basis. I don't want to have to move that data around. And so the problem arises is how can I look to the left um, from, a, from a number that I'm looking up? And that's where the, the offset and, and match will uh, really work together. So uh, let's get right into it. So um, what we want to do, uh, what we're trying to get in this cell is, and when we're done, is be able to put an item number in cell I3 and have it return the color of the item number and the sales uh, from the, from the sheet. So in order to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is is use the match function. Now I'm I'm assuming that you've watched both the offset and the match video, so this should be um, familiar to you with, with with how I'm going to set this up. So for right now, I'm just going to do it in the the cell to the right of where I'm actually going to have the item number. And let's let's put that item number in right now. Let's start with item 146, uh, which will be orange. So what I need to find is how far down orange is within that list. That's my first step. And the match function will do that. So I'm going to do equals match. And then the lookup value, remember, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to reference cell I3. And so it's going to look and use 146 to look up. That's my lookup value. I'm going to put a comma. And then the lookup array is where I'm looking for whatever is in cell I3. So I'm just going to highlight this range here of all the item numbers. And I don't include the title. I'm just doing the item numbers. So in this case, it's range D4 to D19. And then a comment I want an exact match. So in this case, of 146, you should return a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. It should return 9 because 146 is 9 rows down. OK, so now I know how far down uh, that is. And if I put in, let's say, for example, I put in 696, it'll return a 3. So this is now dynamic to know how, how many rows down I need to go. So now I'm going to tie in uh, the offset function with that. Remember, with offset, you're going to tell it where to start and then how far down and how far over to go. So we're going to do equals offset and you'll notice I'm, I'm putting this in where I want the color to be returned so equals offset and my reference if you recall is, is where I want it to start so I'm going to click C3 because I, I eventually I want it to return a color here so I'm going to have it start right above all the colors and I want it to start in the header so I want it to start here uh, that's my reference my starting point and then how many rows down do I need to go and this is where I can tie in the result of the match um, and if I were to do nine rows down, it would return orange. So one, two, three, and so forth. Now, unlike VLOOKUP where it includes the first one of the range, this one is how many places I move. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can either type a nine in, but then I'd be stuck with orange, or I can reference whatever is in cell J3, which is going to change when I change an item number. So I'm just going to reference cell J3. And then I'm going to do a comma. Now it knows how many columns. And that would be left or right. But since I put my starting point on item description, I don't want to go left or right. I don't want a, a positive or a negative number. I just want a zero, which tells it stay within the column where you are. 
And then I'm going to close this parentheses. Now, the way this is set up now, it should find and return the color for item number 146, which is orange. Um, now, if I wanted to find 415 and I type that in, then it should return white. Um, so now this is set up and it, it ties that offset match together. Um, for example, if I do 837, it'll return COBOL. And the only thing that I don't like is I have this separate function over here in, in a separate cell. And if somebody were to accidentally delete that, then uh, my whole formula goes haywire. So what I can actually do is a process called nesting functions, where I can put one function inside another function, and it all stays there. So I'm going to go where I've got my match function. And I want to just copy out everything but the equal sign. So I'm going to highlight that. And then hit Control C on my keyboard to copy it. And then hit Escape. And I'm going to go into where my offset function is. And instead of referencing J3, I'm going to delete that out. I'm just going to hit Control V here. And I'm going to nest that match function inside the offset function. So it's all tied in together. And then I'm going to hit Enter. Now I can delete where I had that one before. And this should now be dynamic where I can type in whatever item number I want. If I wanted 303, whoop, excuse me. If I wanted 303, it should be black. Um, and it's all set up, all the whole formulas in one. We've done an, a nested offset match formula combination, one of my favorites. Now at this point, the, the sales would be easy. And since the sales is to the right, we can just default back to our VLOOKUP. We're going to look up the item number. Um, within that array, and it's in the one, two, second column, and I want an exact match. And then I can format that for dollars. So now if I've got uh, item number 352, it, I can know that that's gray, and I've done $3,699 in sales. Now, um, if I've got a limited number of item numbers, I can I can actually use data validation in here before which has been covered in a, a previous uh, tutorial. So if you've not watched that one, I recommend doing that. But I can do a, a list. And then here's my list of item numbers. And now I've got a drop down where I can just choose the item number and the color. And the cells will change automatically. So this can be really powerful if, if for whatever reason, with the data that you're getting, you have to look to the left of a column for the key, the key figure that you're looking up. Um, it's uh, again called the reverse lookup or the offset match combination. Power, power, powerful, powerful uh, method within Excel. Um, because if you don't use this, you're going to have to cut this column out and paste it to the right. It's going to cause a lot more time, headache, and, ma and manual things, which could cause errors within your data. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, that's the finale of the Offset Match Trilogy, if you will. And that's today's tip. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.